What is up my energy bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War gameplay. So today guys what I want to talk to you all about is Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War's Warzone and the possibility of Season 1. Of course we already know we will be seeing a new map in Warzone in the Black Ops Cold War Warzone part anyway. Set in the Ural Mountains this map is going to be the exact same one we saw in the game mode fire team dirty bomb that we were able to play in the beta of black ops cold war now with the release of black ops cold war being only nine days away we know that season one of black ops cold war will start in december of course we don't know when that will be will it be at the start of december during the middle of december or even at the end of december we got confirmation yesterday from an activision artist stating that warzone will still be on the same engine as modern warfare once black ops cold war is integrated into it the new map coming to warzone is euro mountains which many players who played the beta were able to play a game mode named fire team dirty bomb and this map is the map that we saw in fire team dirty bomb and it's going to be the new map so it's not it's not pretty it's not good no that's wrong it's it is good and i prefer kind of over the the verdansk map and rumors have been coming out stating that we could see the black ops cold war war zone map come out in december a whole month after the release of black ops cold war which wouldn't be too bad however more rumors have come out recently stating that the next iteration of war zone map looks to be coming out in march so in december it looks like it's going to be rebirth island which we saw in blackout and that was the battle royale and it was named alcatraz now the nuke event will be happening seemingly it's going to be happening in march of next year which rumors are saying that it has been delayed so much because of everything that is happening in the world right now and has been happening but apparently Verdansk is getting nuked and this is going to be a new interesting map. There is going to be parts of the Verdansk map that is going to be radiated and you will need gas masks to go into these areas. And it'll be pretty cool to see. Of course this means a lot less buildings so we could be getting maybe three war zone maps. And Rebirth Island being one of them and nuked Verdansk and Ural Mountains. So the nuke event is going to be a separate event from the event that will probably take place in December, launching us into Rebirth Island. As of now, these are just rumors, so just take them with a grain of salt. We don't know if these things or even events are going to be fully happening. It, they could easily be happening, but it could be on a different time frame. But yeah. This is the end of the video guys, I hope you did like it, if you did please hit the like button right beside the like button is the subscribe button that you can hit to subscribe to my YouTube channel, beside that is the notification bell that you can hit to stay up to date whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my YouTube channel. Which is rare, speaking of live streams, I tend to live stream weekly on my Twitch channel, link to that will be down in the description below. Once you're there you can hit the follow button and hit the notification bell to stay up to date whenever I go live over there. I also have a Twitter account that I manually update whenever I upload a video to my YouTube channel or whenever I go live on my Twitch channel. Link to that will be down in the description below as well. And yeah, that is it guys, hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.